and only by the moon. Slip slide, compromise, walk up the street to wave goodbye. Rivers of glass Don't ever trust a man With a jack o' lantern
just as we fly right into the night. Demon man with fire fur, I'm with you, I'm finally sure that I am ready to die. That is it. Kiss bye bye. How's everyone doing tonight? Yes. <laughs> He's in Los Angeles, I think. <laughs> yeah. This is, um, we're Mr. Sweet. Um, I'm Jaden. Let's go around and introduce ourselves. How, how do we do that? Let's do that. Yeah. I'm not Mr. Sweet, but I'm Jaden, and I'm, you know, here for you today. Okay. Go up to the mic. Go up to the mic, man. <laughs> Don't be shy. I am Graham Houts. I am not Mr. Sweet either. Sorry. <laughs> I am Ian Houts, and I am not Mr. Sweet. Wow, he got up. I'm sorry. It's not me. He's looking pretty good in that costume, though, huh? All right. So we've been playing some new songs for you. We're going to play some more new songs, some other things and whatnot, you know? Okay. That couldn't have been more confusing, but we're going to play some more music for you. It's the way that your kiss contents me Makes me feel like I'm in Guantanamo I down where your fingertips tore me Treated me like a feral animal Poor Percy riding in the Amazon A doomed man lost in limbo Has a better chance in hell than I do Of keeping cool Doing good for you From your udder to the mound All bad in our town From your to the ground, our hearts are cunning, when they want something, throw you under the bus, grind it to dust, you hide in the dark and you suck your In my head as I bury all your baggage In the bed of another dumb coxman I don't sleep just to adorn my memories Of how your love's like an overseer's horseman Wanna bored me with call me maybe Loop it on an endless repeat Ain't got nothing on the kiss you gave me So cool, so sweet Doing good for you From your udder to the man Abiding our time from your uterine to the ground And our hearts are cunning When they want something Throw you under the bus Grind your teeth till dust You hide in the dark and you suck your What's your papa making? Ooh, what's your papa making?
Till dust, you hide in the dark and you suck your big dog. Right out of the book, broke it in two Oh, well it's confident to toe and dirt That's how I know your love was won I'd have to earn, that's alright with me
Lamb of God, we served you instead on a bed that's sweet to sleep forever in outer space. Are you in a right there? Are you even there? Do you exist? Woo! Everybody knows you can't hide in the snow Everybody knows You're so cold So cold to me Everyone's to blame. Space, space, space is the place. And the sun is fun, fun, fun. Yes, everybody won't run. So take your sweet time. Hold a thousand heads up in outer space in a box. But a crash back to Earth. Crash back to Earth. We brought back with moon rocks. I think I spotted a yeti, yet I didn't die. I'm not sure. Was it fun? Was it a lie? They're coming home. Well, my. The tundra has grown since you've been gone. Everyone's gone, gone. song and it did and I'm really happy about it. It worked. That's good to hear. <laughs> was that? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you're good. Amazing. You're awesome. I already have a pretty big head. Just it's proportional.
fingers and toes are breaking off one by one. And there's a break inside of me. So I don't know where to go, but I guess I'm getting old. The ice is falling. Winter is calling. I guess I'm not meant to call this home. Woo! Q and A. I know it's not you know usual activity at a rock concert, but we want to because it's. Um, it's I can't tell if Mr. Crochet is back there or not. Are you? Yeah, yeah give him a round of applause, everyone. He's. All right, thank you for the light. I'm gonna switch to the regular mic. Uh, we do have a rule before we begin that we, there's one you know, question we're not gonna answer. It's because we're asked it so, so often. Um, do, you, do you know what it is? What? Do you know what the question is that people aren't allowed to ask? Who is Mr. Sweet? I can't answer that. <laughs> it's up to you. He lives in your hearts and your minds and you know, whatever. Whatever, you know, you, when, you, when you learn about you know, Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, it's like what your parents would tell you in that kind of situation. Just to apply it for that. Let's move on. All right. Okay, so we're gonna answer any and all questions except that one. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, two of thank you. Two of the songs weren't originals. I'm not gonna tell you which ones. <laughs> yes, mom. Oh, I don't know. I do know. <laughs> my friends are going to make fun of me if I say it, because I wear it on my sleeve. Um, do, well, do you want to go around maybe and say, yeah, as individuals, start with Solly. John Bonham. John Bonham. All right. There we go. <laughs> it's 
speak into the mics. Come back to you. He needs a, he needs a moment. My man. Jaden Barnett. <laughs> that wasn't it. All right. Uh, do you want the serious answer or the real or the funny answer? Uh, yeah. Uh, serious. Yeah. Uh, probably the unicorns are probably my biggest influence. Personally. Um, That was the serious answer. That was awful. I want to go home now. Oh, really? He said he wasn't joking about that last thing. <laughs> Friendship is the real winner here today. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm later. Are you ready? Do it, we got, we got. Okay. All right. I will take the remainder of our entire set to list some of my biggest influences. Um, <laughs> Prince, <laughs> Wayne Shorter. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where to go from that. Uh, White Stripes. <sighs> yeah. And Kanye West. Some real music. Yes. About who? No, no, no. I didn't hear you. It's a lot. It's come on. Yeah, I feel. I rest his soul. You know, he's a great guy. He's a great musician. One of the best. It sucks, but it's you know, good that we're already in May and we haven't had a, like at least three other really major musicians die. So I'm thankful for that. You know, every cloud is a silver lining, even though it's, you know, not really one. Okay, let's move on. I'm digging myself a bit of a grave here. Okay. Uh, Rachel. <laughs> that's a tough one. I think that's a whole band question. That's an Ian question. Yeah. Well, to, to be truthful, we're a lot better at writing incomplete songs. So... So some of our most recent completed ones have been, we found old demos that we made of half songs from probably maybe six months ago maybe, yeah. and said, all right, this is good enough. This is worthy of a complete song. So if you consider what we've been playing, complete songs. And, um, um, so I guess by, the cal that by the calendar, it takes about eight months to complete a song. <laughs> <laughs> but as I think we're getting better, though. Yeah, but as far as how much time we actually spend on it, it, it really depends. A couple of hours. And also, uh, the more we practice a song, too, the more it kind of comes together as like a completed piece. Like some of these songs we've been playing for yeah. since like August. And, um, and they didn't really seem that complete then, and they seem a little more complete now. Also, the second song that we played, for example, that was... Jaden had brought in like the verses and the choruses. He had the whole chord progression worked out, and then we b we all added our parts on. It's like, all right, we're all right. You brought in a great demo, but where are we going to take that next? So, I would say that most of our songs they they start as an individual work, and then the uh, that the band member that wrote that brings it in, and then they we develop it from there. I feel like Tommy Wiseau or something up here. <laughs> all right, what's going on? No. No, I actually asked Alex the other day if he'd play with us tonight, and he said no. I'm calling you out in front of everyone. No, you're right. It was totally, it was totally my fault. Love you, Alex. All right. And, every, and all the other Deutrons. If you didn't know, that was the last band we were all in together last year. And it was very successful. Yeah. <laughs> of a what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know about that. <laughs> well, we that needs no elaboration. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can't always. Sometimes it's a little. Not, it's not so productive to have every one member of the band writing on, working on one song at the same time. So we kind of 
it just get me and Ian, or me and Ian and Graham, and then we kind of have our robot drum machine to play the Solomon's parts that we call Solibot. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, I'll, I'll admit it. It's pretty good though, anyway. Okay, moving on. You. I saw your hand was raised. No. Well, I'm, they might be able to. There you go. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, the three of us are pretty much going to the same school. <laughs> I'm living across the street from, from you two. Sorry, I hate to say it. He's going to be like eight hours away. Get the sad, play the sad music. Cue the... <laughs> Oh yeah, let's sing an ode to Sally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, if, if that's it, we're gonna move on. Okay, no. Not often enough. All right, yeah, no, we, we don't, we meet maybe once or twice a week. A month. <laughs> Sounds pretty good for that, though. I mean, uh, yes. Um, finished or not? Five. Five. One we're not playing tonight because I really hate it. Uh, oh no, six actually. Yeah. Um, and the other one, I'd, I don't know. We probably could have played it. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. The one that we wrote on the piano. Yeah, that's, that Stephen always sings. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Yes, yeah, Sharon. Um, I'm, that's a good question. I'm really into surrealism and kind of escapism, and stuff like that. I just, I, I think it's kind of, I don't really have the, I don't really have the, the story, I don't feel like I really have a story to tell, like a personal story. Like I don't think I've gone through a significant enough event that's you know, significant enough to tell other people. Well, you know, let me talk to myself. Yeah, we can write, you can write your album. Yeah. Uh, so I like to write about stuff, you know, like make up stories and scenarios that don't really happen, but that go with it, that kind of correlate to the theme of the music. Usually we write the music before we write the lyrics too. And actually, that's not the case usually all the time, but sometimes that is. Yeah. Yes, Steve. How do you delegate songwriting? Like, there's one person telling you what song is like the lyrics involved. You want to say that? Um, <laughs> it, it just really depends sometimes. Like Graham had mentioned, sometimes it starts with somebody's original idea that they bring in, and we develop it from there. Other times, you see, some of these songs, maybe we finished them recently, but the seed of the idea started so long ago, I can hardly remember where it came from. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we, we've actually created some of our songs by actually just improvising until we came across an idea worthy of keeping. Or, like, I'll write a synth line that I really like, and I'm like, I don't really know how this goes with a song, so then I'll just play it over and over and over again. <laughs> That's how you got the first song, which is, you know, been a pain in our hives for a long time because we never wrote a song to it. We yeah. finally did. Yeah, but then it, it just depends. Sometimes I'll write songs on guitar and I'll bring them, and sometimes I'll write songs on keyboard, and sometimes they'll write songs and we'll work on and them. And then you don't want to play them. And then I don't want to play them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, none of us except him write the drum stuff because none of us know how to play drums except him. So give him a round of applause for that one. <laughs> All right. Yes, I see you. It's mine. <laughs> All right. Well, we got pretty much, you know, here. We, have, we, we were going to do, actually, something we like to do in our show sometimes. If we, we're going to play a little...
Okay, we're gonna play a little improv song because we like to do that sometimes, like we just said. Um, and sometimes it turns out really good, and sometimes it doesn't. But either way, it'll be entertaining. So you know, let's get to it. All right, boys. It's just gonna we're gonna stop at two minutes because that's okay. too much already. Some, usually I sing and make up lyrics on the spot. That didn't really sound like a song that I wanted to do that to. So I hope you are okay with that. We got one more song for you that we're gonna play. We're gonna switch up, switch up the instruments a little bit.
Okay, we're gonna try one more song. I'm streaming that guitar during the last one. This is a, this is a cover. This song. This is a song by a band called Islands, which I really love. So, eat your heart out, Stephen. There you go. Okay. Played that song was in October, so really good, guys. 